Hi, this is Benjamin Hawes of the Hawes Financial Group, where we align your personal values, vision, and wealth. Today, I want to talk to business owners. Many businesses begin behind the owner's entrepreneurial drive. That's typically related to a specific skill set that makes them pretty confident that they can maximize their opportunity through self-employment. They start their businesses because they are passionate, hardworking, and dedicated. But you've probably seen the statistics. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, half of all businesses will fail within five years. The major culprit? Time. In our experience, far too many business owners get stuck working in their business instead of finding and creating the time to work on their business. So in this six-part series, we want to address some basic pitfalls that we have seen as financial planners for business owners and how we can help them plan accordingly. The reality is, what makes the business great on the onset, that drive, skill set, and confidence, can also be its downfall. It's an inability to adapt, to delegate, to plan ahead, to raise or properly allocate capital, and ultimately, find work-life balance. So here are four suggestions we'll make over the next eight weeks. First, the easiest way to be sure your business is being worked on is to hire professional help to do that planning work with you. The do-it-yourself drive that helps start the business is not going to serve the owner well when it comes time to manage the many financial issues created by that business. It's not unlike a sports team hiring a head coach. Someone needs to take the owner's vision and be sure all the supporting specialists come together under one plan and roadmap. Second, be sure you work on your business through annualized strategic planning. A strategic business plan is imperative for a startup. But mature businesses need a plan to grow as well. This is where many businesses can fail. They do not regularly assess their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And in failing to do so, they get too focused on the day-to-day -day operations and not the big picture steps for growth, the key metrics they need to track, or the hurdles they need to address before they can move forward. Third, many business owners working in their businesses forget about their own balance sheet. While you work hard for your business, be sure the business is working hard for you too. You need to focus on your own wealth planning, which means setting personal goals, managing taxes and risk, and making investments in something outside of your business too. Finally, we will discuss the importance of having a succession plan. Not only is it important to document to what end you will be in the business for your own wealth plan, but it's also your obligation to your family, your employees, your customers or clients, your vendors or suppliers, and your financers. A business cannot maximize its value if it does not have a continuity plan or is too dependent on the works of one individual, i.e. you. In summary, no business owner wants to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week forever. Finding a work-life balance can only come from remembering to continually work on the business too. And that probably means exercising your right as boss to delegate and get some help outside along the way.